So let's do a top down here on Stellar. Excellent. Look at the monthly chart. Just a typical crypto chart. Um, nothing but a vertical move. Tons of angle and distance. Um, you can notice that the last time we kind of went parabolic here, we retraced 100% of the move. And then this is actually, I, I always talk about this, this is a nice swing line setup here, even on the monthly monthly chart. So you can just simply track the prior monthly closes and you'll create this nice swing line here. And so when you break that high, boom, buy, stop below the low, or you can use this pivot low, either one. Nice tight risk, you know where you're wrong, and then all kinds of upside from there. This was actually one of our best plays um, last quarter, last three months, and I think that <clears throat> there's actually more to come here, but we do need to be a little bit, a little bit um, aware that we're pretty, pretty far from the eight here. We talked about that in some other videos where you get way away from that eight, it's just not sustainable. See here on the weekly, created angle and distance. You pulled back towards it, and then actually um, the low here on the move with this. Overall low in the market today. This is the lowest we've been in months and basically held the eight again here also. It's a pretty good weekly cycle developing. Right? I mean you can't, you can't really draw this any better. Not a lot of people will talk about the cycles on the chart. That's exactly what you had here. Another up cycle. There's your high, cross right here, there's your low, there's your run. And so we may or may not be due for another cyclical down. Uh, this was this this was several weeks. Um <clears throat> you break this eight, you should expect kind of the same thing. Now we do like to use a wall concept where you treat this whole entire move as one candle and about halfway is the kind of a logical place to start scaling in. We haven't quite retraced that area. You know, nothing in trading is that specific. That's kind of the zone to where you probably want to get aggressive. I like I like buying some back here. Probably should have added back already. Our last profit take was pretty good. And you know we can start to kind of build the position back here, but we Need to wait on this cycle probably for the most part. During this entire sell off, we've said you got to be patient. I mean, when these you get these intermediate term downtrends in this market, it's pretty rare for for crypto to pull back for several months in a row. But when you do, a lot of times we're getting these fifty and eighty percent retracements. When we look at the daily level, obviously this is a long term uptrend, making nothing but higher lows. We basically held the band here today rallied off you know, rallied back very strongly and um like this bottoming tail right here this is one of the strongest looking charts guys by far i mean you look at definitely the majors are all making lower lows relative to these you know call that the tms but you look at bitcoin you look at ethereum you look at litecoin those all broke their higher lows um last month and that's kind of when you get the deeper pull back towards the 200 and here you have a market structure where you're still making higher lows you haven't broken the band so this is actually one of the healthiest and strongest looking charts when i go to the four hour um get back towards buy i mean that was a nice buy the cycle is low also so that's probably one we want to look to add to all right, given a 30 minute dip here, I think that makes a lot of sense. I mean, you're looking for places to hide out if you're not in cash. And we experienced a pretty strong move off the lows this morning. That That's a pretty good candidate for maybe that was it. Um, you know, the market's been down pretty hard here for several weeks. So we'll see. That's a good way to play it. Uh, buy, buy on this 30 minute cycle back down, stop below the low. You got plenty of upside. All right, hope that helps, guys.